Today is sometime in the middle of February 2023 and this is a sad time for cellular telephony because the CDMA network has just recently been shut off in where I am in this area and I'm pretty pretty sure just about everywhere else if not everywhere else in the country it's disappointing for many reasons for one we now have millions and millions of perfectly good handsets rendered unusable the CDMA network offered far superior coverage compared to the the 4G and 5G cellular networks that we have now and I think the CDMA network was highly underappreciated and highly under acknowledged for what it really was the CDMA network is very old it's a concept from the 1980s yet it was good enough to be in service for decades and carry cellular telephony through two of its most historical movements the first one being the initial cell phone boom in the early 2000s where the popularity of cell phones grew astronomically because for the first time people felt the need to be connected all the time even when they were away from their their home landline phone you know, previously in the 90s unless you were, were a businessman or had a lot of money or something like that the typical layperson didn't have a cell phone because it was too expensive but in the 2000s early 2000s that started to change and we started to find a cellular telephone in the hands of most people very very quickly it was adopted and we also started to see the handsets become smaller more practically sized able to fit into a pocket form factors like this one started to come out and the CDMA network continued through that cell phone rapid increase in popularity of cell phones and it carried through to the conception of the iPhones and not only did it power the first iPhones but it powered I believe up until the iPhones 5 I think each one prior to that had well, I don't know one or two different iterations so that what will we say it was maybe six or eight iPhones the first six or eight iPhones which are allegedly claimed to be and I would totally argue against this but they're allegedly supposed to be the best phone in the world and this CDMA network from the 1980s was still good enough to power the calls on those phones and it was still it was used widely enough for all these major companies to extend the operation of it for years after they tried to turn it off initially because it was that good and that practical I hope at some point somebody will come out with some kind of a device that is like a miniature transmitter for the CDMA network so that we could use these phones again because these are going to become collectible within the next couple the next, next decade or two that's typically how technology works very consistently it, there's like a curve It'll, it'll fall down the curve and become obsolete and people lose interest and then as time goes on and the item becomes older and rarer the interest in it peaks back up again it's like now we're starting to see that computers from the 90s are starting to become super valuable because they're getting harder to find and people are developing an appreciation for them as they age and these cell phones are right around the corner from doing that so I think soon there will become a pretty big market for these especially that the earlier models 
Uh, as far as cell phones go now, I continue to use a flip phone like this, and I will continue to do so. Unfortunately, it operates on the, the 4G LTE network, which is not anywhere near as good as far as the coverage is concerned. The coverage of the CDMA network, because it was a nice low frequency, was unsurpassed. When I was using this phone and my previous cell phone, the, uh, the Casio GZ1 cell phone, the coverage was great. I could use the phone in uh, elevators and basements and parking garages, places where other people's newer, 10 times more expensive phones on the 4G and 5G stuff wouldn't even get a signal. It was great. Uh, but unfortunately, that is no more. So, there were some complaints about uh, the voice clarity of the CDMA network. And while it definitely wasn't as clear as a landline, if you really understand the way it encoded the algorithm that it used to compress the audio, it is absolutely astounding that it sounded as good as it did. Because the data stream was microscopic. It was so highly compressed and so, so small. The data stream was so small. It's, it's unbelievable that you could actually carry a relatively clear conversation through it. You know, it, it didn't capture all the details of, of speech, but it captured enough that you could understand what somebody was saying as long as they were speaking clearly into the phone you could you could understand what they were saying fine and uh, yeah it, it was great really neat uh, piece of technology and it worked and it worked good for a long time and now it's retired disappointing but that's what happens so for now these uh, these phones are, are kind of useless. They don't, you can't use them anymore, but I really do hope that somebody starts making something that uh, allows these to be used again, even just at a very short range, just so we could use these to make calls once again.